Today's video is for the girls who like to look expensive, who like that luxury look for the look. Okay? <laughs> Fashionistas, new here, I'm Chi Chi. Welcome. If you're not new here, hey girl, hey. Here, we're all about celebrating self-expression, fabulous fashion. So if you love hauls, beauty, vlogs, sis, you found your tribe, stay a while. Today, I've got something special lined up for you. Something that's honestly long overdue. So as the title says, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about luxury lookalikes, AKA dupes and sis. I found some gems and I can't wait to share them with you. So grab your favorite drink, get comfy, and let's dive into this. With spring and summer around the corner, I have had my eye on accessories, specifically shoes, because your girl has big feet, I wear size 11, and extended sizes always go first. Last year, the Steve Madden Maven sandals came out and they were a dupe for the Hermes, I cannot pronounce this word. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the screen. <laughs> Okay, and you guys already know the orange sandals have been around for a long time. They have been lookalikes upon lookalikes come out. Steve Madden had some, Sam Edelman had some, even Amazon the Drop had some. You can find those sandals up and down. However, these sandals that are basically like the Hermes version of a Birkenstock were popping off last year and I wanted myself a pair. Okay, I knew I wasn't gonna pay Hermes prices. And so when I saw that Steve Madden had come out with a pair, I was like literally racing and running. Unfortunately, my size was on pre-order so I never purchased. I had it in mind, okay, that this year I was gonna be on that site as soon as possible to grab myself a pair or two. But you know who came through? My girl, Jamie. Mima! Okay, yes, Miss Jamima here on YouTube. She posted on her stories. By the way, she's a sweetheart. Hey Jamima, if you happen to see this, she posted a little Target shop with me and she shared some of the new arrivals and shoes that were available in stores. And look behold, what did I find? Okay, these are the Haley sandals by Target. And guess what? They look very similar very similar okay to the Hermes ones now they're different in that they don't have like that pronounced H which I think the Steve Madden sandals do better but honestly I don't need them to be the same you know I am someone if I like something if I like the design of something that is why I purchase it I rarely purchase things I would say I I want to say I never purchase things Y'all, these lashes about to fall off my eyes. For real, for real. They're on their last leg. Okay. But anyways, I rarely purchase things. And I want to say I never purchase things for the name, but let's just say like 0.0001%. And so if I like something in a style, I'm going to like it. I'm going to like it for a year. I'm going to like it for two years. I'm going to like it for five years. So I was so glad when I was able to find this. It has basically all the same quintessentials of the style. It has a little flap that goes this way. Let me just take it off the box. I haven't worn it yet, as you can see. It has a little flap that goes this way. Okay. Okay, and I love the fact that it actually is adjustable for my girls who have wider feet. This is a very stretchy sort of like plush kind of leather. So you can tell it's not going to hurt. All right. It also comes in white if you like that sort of contrast as well. It has like the similar front but not quite the same. And then some good grip. Like this is the kind of sandal I would take if I was going on like a cityscape. If I was going to a city where I would be walking around a lot in maybe like a New York or San Francisco where you're gonna be doing a lot of walking you want to be comfortable here you go okay so I just had to share this first pair these were only 30 and I believe when I got them they were doing 20% off shoes so yes I scored those on at a great great price for reference the Steve Madden's I believe they're somewhere between 70 and 90 so for the fact that I was able to get these for like $24, mm -hmm, I'm gonna keep them, I'm gonna keep them. And again, when it comes to things that are trendy, I never like to spend a lot of money anyways. I would call these trendy, but also classic because the style is something that you're gonna be able to wear from years for years to come, whether or not people are wearing like the Birkenstock stock. So if you watched my what's in and what's out for 2024 video, you know I talked about how kitten heels and ballet flats are having a moment right now. It started in the fall, it's definitely 
really going into the spring in a big way. And I would say a quintessential sort of like trend in that trend is going to be the mesh ballet flat. Let me read to you what Elle says about the mesh ballet flat. On Elle.com it says, a mesh ballerina is the definition of quite luxury. It's a classic piece, but with a subtle twist that makes it more fashionable, more luxurious. The delicate nature feels ultra feminine, but without the sugary vibe of some traditional ballet flats. Ballet flats having a big moment, but there's something about the mesh ballet flat that just, it gives edgy, it's sweet, but it's a little edgy. You know, it looks like a rose it has some thorns you know and Alea, i believe that's how you can pronounce the brand is the one who sort of like brought this trend to the forefront and a pair of Alea mesh ballet flats are over 800 dollars right i have seen these mesh ballet flats everywhere i've seen even versions with rhinestones just a lot of different options i've seen them everywhere at different price points right from the alaya pair to the steve madden pair that are over a hundred dollars but you know where they also popped up at <laughs> they also popped up at Target. And yes, I did also get 20% off these. Now these are not quite the same as the Alea pair in that they have a traditional ballet flat front. Unlike the Alea pair that come up high up the foot. But I kind of like the fact that these are the traditional style because I got big feet okay and I did get these as you can see in a size 12 because they also had this in wide but the 11 wide was out of stock now I know this trend is not going to be for everybody not not everybody is rocking with the ballet flat trend and not everybody is rocking with the mesh ballet flat but if you are I have already seen all of the fashion girls but if you are on the fence of, on these get them because I have already seen all of the fashion girls in some version of of these flats they are that good you're gonna be able to pair them with jeans you're gonna be able to pair them with summer dresses with maxi skirts maxi dresses like and then they're mesh so your foot will actually be able to breathe inside of them okay I'm actually looking for a pair in brown as well basically a nude you know because I just feel like they're gonna be so versatile and if you're someone who wants more comfortable shoes but feel like they kind of make you look a little bit more mature this is a perfect example of how you can have your comfort but still be stylish too. So if you're on the hunt, there you go. <laughs> Alright, the next item in keeping when trendy that has been trending for years now has basically become a classic. You may already own a dupe of this, you may not. It's going to be the Bottega Jody. Bottega Jodies with the classic woven style with the knot have been trending like crazy. And from the beginning, I knew this was a bag that you needed in your wardrobe because of its versatility. It's a piece that you can dress up, that you can dress down, wear it with sneakers, it'll look cute wear it with heels and it'll look cute wear it to dinner it will look cute it's just one of those things maybe it's because of the top handle bag and I have a special place in my heart for top handle bags but it's just one of those pieces that just looks good now they have like an oversized style of the same bag I don't know if it's called the Jody. I don't keep up that much with Bottega but that style is seriously trendy I have picked up some dupes from Amazon but they weren't quite hitting the way I wanted you know here's my thing when it comes to dupe you just don't want to dupe just because it's cheap. Most of the time there's always going to be dupes at different tiers and I find that it's best to be somewhere in the middle. You don't want to pick up the dupe that is at the lowest price price point because you're gonna sacrifice quality nine times out of ten. So with that said after picking up the Amazon versions I think I paid like maybe 35 for those. I still felt like it was missing something, it was lacking something. It still didn't kind of give me the quality that I was looking for. And then this came into my life. So I want to shout out another creator as well for this dupe and that's Kay from Oh Hey K on IG. I think she also has a YouTube here and she sold this bag to me because she has these Bottega dupes in a couple of colors and she sourced them from a black owned brand who does like limited edition drops. I will link the brand for you guys in the description box down below. She had it in silver and gold. I still regret not getting those two colors because of their versatility and then she had like a red she had a denim and so when I saw that they brought it in pat and black and this is the color that I have been wanting forever and a day 
okay forever in a day i was like you better add that to cart girl and of course i did and i did and i did and the quality is there honey and what i like about this dupe is that you don't see that white okay that you tend to see when you go with the lower priced options sorry let me go ahead and close it i did an unboxing for this on instagram and maybe i'll insert it here and i just love the way it was packaged the note the seller had in the box like it was just it was just a little treat if you have a birthday coming or something coming treat yourself again this is not like a 20 dollar version that you can get from amazon this is a little bit higher in the price point but i can see the difference because I have the lower price point version okay in my opinion especially in a black like this it's worth it I might not be inclined to drop over a hundred dollars for a pink or a yellow or a green but for a black honey for a black I'm wearing this tomorrow okay because <laughs> I know how versatile it is so definitely I'm going to link this I don't know if she they her stuff comes in and out of stock sometimes you have to pre-order it but I'm gonna link it for you guys down below because this was definitely worth the dupe so the next item I have is a very niche but I wanted to share it especially for my girls who are all about that quiet luxury who keep up with just timeless pieces if you do then I'm sure you're familiar with the Celine box bag this bag I believe has been discontinued in the original style they did rebrand it and bring it back with the new Celine logo but I would say this bag retails anywhere between like 3,500 to 5,000 it's somewhere within, within that range again I wasn't buying it <laughs> full price <laughs> I'm not really a hundred percent sure but I always had my eye on the bag that like this was a type of bag and actually this will be the second time I've duped a simp the bag the original the first time I, I grabbed it from I believe it was Amazon I believe it was from Amazon the first time I grabbed it I grabbed it in brown it says it was leather but as I think about it I'm pretty sure it was not real leather but it was a good quality faux leather and it was an exact match the first time I grabbed this was several years ago I believe I I no longer have the bag because I, I believe I gave it away because it was starting to you know do that thing that leather does where it like strands start coming off of the leather and like the seaming starts to like wear and once it starts doing all of that I was like okay it's time to donate this so I believe I donated uh, but anyways this is just a bag style that to me is super classic all of the like fashion OG girls have had this style of bag because it's very versatile it's a crossbody style it's an everyday sort of like saddle bag style and I think it's a classic that your bag wardrobe needs I just happened I'm not sure when I first saw this bag this is the APC bag I am forgetting the actual name I think it's like the APC Alice or APC Mary it'll be on the screen it just gave me box bag it just gave me that vibes immediately and I was like oh add to cart i immediately knew i wanted it but it was a little bit a little bit a little bit more than i would typically just purchase you know without thinking about it definitely fractions less than the box bag but still a little bit more so after arming and arming um i believe i hit some kind of milestone or maybe it was for the holidays i can't remember i decided to gift myself the bag and thankfully <laughs> it was the holidays so i was able to get a nice code to get some money off of it and so this is what the bag looks like because i don't talk about it long enough okay what i love about it is how understated and classic it is this is one of those pieces that if you're a fashion girl when you see it you know it's very quiet it's very understated stated and it is a designer the girls that get it get it all right i'm pretty sure i've featured or shared an outfit with this bag i may or may not have probably on instagram but anyways what i love about it is how true it is to the original style the shape of it like so like almost like an envelope it has the little gold clasp that you can open and close it has very subtle hardware and for my curvy girls it also has a very generous strap now you will have to maybe it's because I'm taller but I had to go in and add in additional holes so that it would hit me exactly where I wanted to and I'll put a link to my leather hole puncher in the description box for you guys in case you need it because having a leather hole puncher is a game changer but anyways I digress and when I say that this is one of the first 
luxury quote unquote leather handbags that I have purchased and felt it was worth the price. The leather on this is so supple, it's so soft, it's very substantial. I'm not gonna lie, this is not a light bag. Like it has some weight to it. It's also a nice good, it's a good everyday size. It's not massive so I don't have to put everything but a kitchen sink inside. I like that. It's very structured. I mean if somebody could have a crush on a bag, I had a crush on this bag. Okay, and it's not like super flamboyant or technically trendy. If you're really looking to add classic pieces to your wardrobe that will elevate over time, this is one of them. So I just wanted to share it here. This is a great dupe for the box. If you're not ready to drop Celine money, this is under a grand and you get all of the feels and all of the vibes as <laughs> the, the box. So it's a couple days later, sorry for the interruption, but I could not let this video finish without sharing this bag. It's the newest edition. Okay, hold on. There she is. Does she remind you of something, Pachan? As soon as I saw this bag, before I even knew what she was, I knew there was something special about her. And this is a lookalike for the Andiamo. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but it's a lookalike for this bag. Do y'all see how much that costs? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, you know, our friends at the Zong decided to hook us up with this bag and it comes in so many different colors. I decided to go with the cream because we're going into spring and summer and I feel like it's gonna be a versatile color. It's like an off-white but more on the cooler toned side. The best thing about this bag is that it's multi-functional. You can hold it like this, top handle, or you can turn it into a crossbody. So you pull on the strap and it turns into a crossbody style bag. Genius, right? I feel like they got that idea from the Chanel jumbo flap, but y'all, I've been seeing this bag all over my timeline. It comes in different sizes, like it comes in like a large size that you can travel with, like on um, like an oversized tote, but it also comes in a small size, and I believe this is the medium. Let me know what we're thinking about her. Andiamo is the girl of this summer. All the Lux girls already picked her up. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you'll be picking her up. What are your thoughts on this style? And when I say that <laughs> the folks on the zone, <laughs> they didn't waste no time to make a version of this bag for us. I love, love the detailing on this bag. Everything is woven. The strap is woven. The body of the bag is woven. They even really did a good job at brushing the hardware to make it look a little bit more patinaed, which is very reminiscent of the original. It has a magnetic closure and three compartments. Okay, for the girls. Now I couldn't finish the dupe video without talking about some sunglasses. I mean, those are, in my opinion, get dupe the most. Why? Because they're cheap and cheerful buy. They're typically under 20 bucks. And Amazon is the king and queens of getting us a dupe with the quickness. The first are gonna be these Bottega aviators that blown up everywhere. I literally considered buying the Bottega versions which are retailing for about $550. Yes, I really did consider. I was looking on the internet trying to see if I could find a code, trying to find a deal to get them. And then the girls popped up with the Amazon version. So if you are on the lookout or if you've had these sunglasses on your mind, then I present you them. Now, the main reason why I actually didn't end up getting them, but I wanted to still share them with you guys in this video, is because I have a big face, and I thought they were a lot more oversized than they are, and they are not. They fit a little bit small for my face, and I like me an oversized pair. For example, instead of those, I decided to get these Tom Fords, which are a lot more proportional to the size of my face. And now I'm basically looking for a version of these Tom Fords in like a silver finish so that I can have both silver and gold because we're wearing a lot of silver these days, right? I just wanted to share them with you. But that's not all. I found another really great dupe for the Loewe, another pair of sunglasses that I've kind of had my eye on. I remember seeing them on Sunny here on YouTube. I can't remember her full name, but I know her name is Sunny something. That's her handle here. And I absolutely fell in love with them. There are some Loewe sunglasses and you guys guys know oh I feel so sometimes I feel bad for some of these designers because the way the dupes are duping 
<laughs> these days, they don't even let these designers breathe, okay? Yeah, I'm sure you guys are familiar with these um, sort of like cartoon-like glasses. You can definitely find them also on Amazon. However, the pair that kind of came out before them slightly that was not as hyped up or these, okay? Uh, they have the thick black rim, but with the colored lenses. And I had been wanting them from the first time, but I didn't want to pull the trigger because I felt they were a little too, I won't say that they're too trendy, but I felt that they were trendy. And for me, when I'm spending money on luxury items, I want them to be classic. I don't mind dropping a couple hundred dollars on a classic sunglass style, a cat eye, classic aviator, but I do mind dropping a couple hundred dollars on something that's a bit too trendy. I was kind of like umming and ahhing and then these popped up and I was again, I have a big face. I'm always scared things are not gonna fit proportional to my face, but these actually do and I love the red sunglass. Now we are going into summer so I feel like this is more of like a fall, winter, shades, um, pair of sunglasses, but I'ma still stand by them, okay? Because I think they're super fire. They just add the right amount of something to finish off your outfit, as you can see. <laughs> I just styled them with a sheer turtleneck and these flippy shorts that I'm obsessed with right now. They have little sequins on them and they're tweed chef's kiss. If you've been enjoying the video so far and you want more videos just like this, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. It lets me know to keep making more and of course is a small way to pay it forward to let the girls know that this is actually a great video. And if you like my vibe, you can go ahead and subscribe to our tribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. So let me know in the comments below. Chime in. Which one of these dupes is your favorite? Do you have the Bottega Jody already in the dupe? Let's start a fun fashion conversation in the comments. And you never know, your comment might be featured in the next video. Until next time, stay blessed, stay chic, stay fabulous, and remember, your curves are your crown. Rock them like the queen you are. And I, oh god, what is going on with this lash? Okay. For reference. Oh god. Okay, can we? Sorry, y'all. I had to check these eyelashes.